who was always going to use his body because of his lack of height in that contest, gets the free kick. Yeah. The spearing kick was beautiful, and Neitz kicked seven goals last week. He comes in, the Melbourne skipper, for their first. And does what a good skipper does. He kicks the goal when required. Not a good sign, but plenty of time to mop up. Sights the kick nicely. Melbourne working it forward. Brown and Uze combine. This is the important kick and the important lead. Neats. Well, he's on the way to kicking a bag for him. Neats. 45 metres out on a 45 degree angle. And there is the style that Jared was talking about. Glenn Chelly, Vardy, went back into trouble. Ball spills for Walsh, who kicks long. The skipper in the square, one out. Almost took a beautiful free mark for a kick. Oh, no. And this is so disproportionate to the offence. Free kicks a seven and over Carlton three. Neitz comes in and kicks his third goal of the quarter. And the Demons lead by one. Looks up the centre of the ground. Hickmonson decides to go wide. Looking for Franchino. A one-on-one -on -one contest. Dangerous kick. And Uze was too good. Took the mark. Melbourne starting to lift. Kicks to Neitz on the lead. And he takes the mark. Brad Pitt go. Three goals for Neitz. It's his third mark inside 50. And here he is from 50. He is a thumping kick. And this is straight as well. He's got four. Corey, furious there. Still talking with the umpire. And in an engaging conversation, one we'd like to be part of. Liam Chelly, Green, half forward, inside 50, Neitz in front. He was loitering Neitz and just hoping something would supply forward. Kern is still having plenty to say to umpire coach there. By the way, Neitz has kicked eight goals before against Carlton, around 19, 1996. Lines up for goal number five. He is straight by foot, and that is there. Neitz has got five, and the Demons have got six in a row. Not sure where the front centres were. Uze. Needs magic, found a little bit of it, advanced it, and there was something out of nothing brought on by Uze. Thanks, Lou, by Jingos. <laughs> this is David Neat's fifth bag of goals this season. And a bag meaning five goals or more, and he already has five now. Comes in to make it six from point blank range for him. Peter Fetis, gone to full forward. Jolly, knocked out Bruce. Here they go through the middle. The looping handball. Green, lead of Neitz, beautiful. Jeez, Just Jeff, beautiful. Uh, Brad Green. Never known a guy to have so much influence at different clubs. And Jared Healy makes a lot of moves with a lot of players. He wields a lot of power. He's the Australian chairman of selectors. Indeed he is. Neitz, goal number seven. A bit of therapy going up in the commentary box <laughs> today. Brian Tullett from some repressed feelings. I, I apologise already. <laughs> for my behaviour today. Fizzle gets it out to Wheatley. He's now got a giddy up and a gallop going. He gets it out to McDonald. Kick forward. Here he goes. Neats for a career. Equaling the record. His best ever has been eight goals. And here's David Neats. Comes in. The kick is on its way. Neats has kicked eight goals. Wheatley. Powell can bomb it inside 50. Got Neats in a pretty good position, but the kick faded. But Neats still made up ground. And he'll line up to break his own record. Kuda Fides is coming off the ground. This man here needs, if he kicks this, it'll be his highest personal tally of goals in AFL football. David Neats for goal number nine. He's got it. Neats and nine. Melbourne's biggest score of the season, 21-13, 139. Carlton 11-11-77.